Pradna, Senior Medical Consultant at RG Stone and Super Specialty Hospital, Ludhiana. Today, I will show some important updates on hypertension, that is high blood pressure. As per latest WHO data, nearly 63% of total deaths in India are due to non-communicable diseases, which means diseases attributed to lifestyle in majority of cases, of which 27% are attributed to heart problems, which can affect 45% people in the age group 40 to 69 years. Raised blood pressure is one the most important risk factor for the development of heart problems. Moreover, it remains poorly controlled due to low awareness about hypertension, lack of appropriate care to primary care, and poor follow-up. In India, the prevalence of high BP has gone up over the last 30 years to 38% in men and 32% in women, which was previously 29 and 28% respectively, primarily due to increasing longevity. Despite the rising number, nearly half of the people with hypertension, they are unaware of the fact that they have high BP. Additionally, more than 50% of the people living with hypertension, they don't get any treatment. As per a recent study published in Lancet 2021, only one out of my five men and one out of four women actually take appropriate BP-lowering medication. Presently, mercury sigmomanometer has been replaced completely by aneroid and digital measuring devices due to health-related toxic effects of mercury. So these devices are no longer used. There are various settings to measure or record a person's BP. For example, home recording, clinic or office recording, 24-hour ambulatory recording, or nocturnal or nighttime recording. The diagnosis of hypertension will be if your BP is equal to or more than 140 by 90 for office BP reading. Home BP and ambulatory BP reading are mostly lower than the office reading. The diagnosis is by home BP monitoring is if BP is more than 135 by 85 and by 24 hour ambulatory is if BP is more than 130 by 80. As per 2018 European guidelines on the management of hypertension, the diagnosis of hypertension should not only be dependent on office BP measurements, but also on the home or ambulatory BP measurements. In fact, home BP monitoring should be encouraged for better patient involvement and compliance. Also, it has been found that home BP monitoring correlates better with the hypertension mediated organ damage than the office recording. Most of the patients with hypertension, they require lifelong medical therapy to achieve optimal BP control. 2018 European guidelines equally recommend five classes of BP lowering drugs, depending upon the age group and presence of associated medical problems. Your clinician can choose specific group of drugs for you. In fact, in present scenario, combination therapy in a single pill is always the preferred one and it is encouraged for better patient compliance and long-term drug adherence. After the recent print study, the threshold for starting BP-loading drugs and the target BP to be achieved has been lowered down as compared to the previous Indian guidelines on hypertension. Now, the new threshold for starting antihypertensive drugs should be 140 by 90 in most of the patients. In patients with coronary artery disease or person having heart failure, it may be considered even at a BP of 130 by 80. In elderly, the target can be between 130 to 140 systole and 80 to 90 diastole. The largest Hygia study on 19,000 hypertensive patients, it has been confirmed that taking the BP lowering drug at the night time has a more beneficial effect on the heart as compared to the usual daytime therapy. Thank you so much.